Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing really well and had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Um, I'm back on YouTube now, so hello. Um, sorry for no videos over Christmas, I just wanted to take a bit of a break to be honest, um, and it is nice to be back. I thought I'd kick off the New Year with a bit of a vlog, a bit of makeup, a bit of some new in bits. I have placed a few orders for a few new bits, so in the vlog I've got some new mango and ASOS bits I want to show you. I am waiting on a H&M delivery, I'm really hoping it arrives today so I can show you, but if not it will be in next week's video. I've been really enjoying doing my makeup. I've been like enjoying how my makeup's been going with the products I've been using at the minute. It's just very quick and easy so I thought I would share that as well. I'm gonna make a coffee and then we will start on some makeup. Mom is still at home. Um, he hasn't actually gone back to work since Christmas yet and now we're like the... what's the date today? Like the 9th of Jan's Monday. Um, he's had like a really bad flu i know there's been so much going around but for the eight years i've known him i've just never seen him this ill before it's been awful like he's literally barely left bed for like nearly a week um i think he's starting to feel a bit better today um but he is still at home i think we both said it's you know it's one of those things that like you don't want to them like rush you know getting out and about when you're not fully healed like better yet because you don't want to then make yourself ill again so I think he is hoping to like go back to work tomorrow but I'm so used to having the house to myself and just like getting on with things. I'm looking forward to him going back to work to say the least. I know he's been like in the bedroom so I still have the house to myself but I think you know what I mean like you know when someone else is just like lingering around the house. Um, and I'm just, I'm just not used to that. And I've been looking after him all week as well. I've kind of had a much slower start to the year than I would have hoped. Like I wanted to like get straight back into it straight away and it hasn't really happened, but it doesn't matter. Like I do think January, as much as like it is about like, oh, a fresh start and stuff. It also is that month where everything's quite quiet. Take it easy. That's how I'm starting this year. I'm taking it easy. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. I'm gonna do a quick bit of skincare. Now over Christmas, my skin um, was really, like my eczema flared up, it was so dry. Now like it was really sensitive, so I really like stripped back my skincare. And I've just been using this, the um, Aven, I'll link all of this below, but this is like a um, hydrating thermal water. So I like to like dampen my face before popping on some hyaluronic acid. This is really good for hydrating your skin and i find that my skin is so much worse when it's not moisturized and hydrated um so i like to get all the uh all the hydration on tom and bertie in the background so if you hear any noises that is them but they're under strict conditions <laughs> to stay quiet um i'm using the beauty pie triple hyaluronic acid eye serum as well because again if my um this area is like dry i find that like my little fine lines and wrinkles are way more prominent so just keeping those nice and hydrated oh by the way i've got beauty pie discount code i'll leave that in the description and then i'm using um the charlotte tilbury magic cream so i i haven't actually been using this um i've been using the walida which I think is downstairs actually, the one in the green tube. Um, but then I was thinking about this this morning because this is actually really hydrating and um, nourishing and lovely. I used to find this too thick and too heavy, um, but now I guess when my skin's got like <laughs> a bit more mature in my 30s, um, I need all the all the moisture and hydration and don't forget your neck as well um you can kind of see my eczema here as well that's why i've been like wearing roll necks to kind of cover up it's so annoying i've actually got a consultation with a dermatologist in feb and i think they're going to do some allergy tests because so for the primer i'm using the laura mercier this is the illuminating primer i've been using this for years and it just gives you such a lovely um like glowy base before you put any anything else on can you see it's just it's got like a really nice like pearlescent uh finish to it so it just gives you a really nice a nice all over glow it's the it cosmetics your skin but better cc cream and i use the shade light this is like a jumbo tube um i've been using this again on and off for years i find that one pump um 
is enough for me. Did I say that I was using shade light? Um, yeah, I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation as well. Um, but I think that this, they're very, very similar. But I feel like this is just a slightly lighter coverage and a little bit more glowy. Um, and I find it's like looser. Um, like the products are uh, like not runnier because they're both quite thick hard to describe but slightly like runnier and looser so i find that it it applies um easier um i feel like with the other one the beautiful skin is that what it's called the one in the tube by charlotte tilbury i love it um but it's just a bit thicker and yeah just a bit harder to work in like natural coverage but you can still see your skin we're not like caking our skin and foundation it makes your skin look really healthy i was rushing through my products then and i completely forgot to put this on before um but this is the beauty pie this is called the super luminous under eye genius corrector and if you suffer with any dark circles i'll pop this on the back of my hand to show you i'm really annoyed that actually i forgot to put it on but it's like an illuminating cream and you just, um, I pat it on with my fingers like this. Can you see kind of how illuminated that area is? I just pop a little bit underneath, press it in with my finger and it really just lightens up the under eye. It's not like a concealer, it just brightens. I'm actually gonna use some of the Rodeal Banana Low Lighter. I actually heard someone call this Rodial the other day and I thought, have I been saying it wrong all this time? So it's Rodial or Rodial. Yeah, this one isn't a concealer again. It's another like eye brightener So I like to pop it in there and up here to um, Brighten and lift. I hope you guys have um, all been healthy and well over Christmas I actually do really feel for Tom bless me. He literally has been in bed for like a week My lips are feeling a bit dry. So I'm gonna use the beauty pie the um, super healthy skin lip balm whenever i do a q a on my instagram i always get lots of questions about this of what shade i use how i use it how much i use i absolutely love it i've been using it for years this is only my second pot and as i said i've been using it for years so it lasts such a long time i've got the shade 390 i use it with a brush like this this is actually a beauty pie brush um and it is the pro blend brush fluffy brush and i just swirl my brush around quite lightly actually not too heavy i don't want too much product and then i always start kind of just on my on and under my cheekbone area and then i always take it over my forehead under here it just instantly warms up the face and brings a bit of colour to my very, very pale face. And to add a bit of colour into my cheeks, I'm using the Glossier. This is the Cloud Paint in Dusk, another product I've been using for a long time. I pop a little bit on the back of my hand. You don't need a lot of this at all. It's really pigmented, really creamy. Um, like diffuse it on my hand before popping it on my cheeks. I'm doing all of this makeup in like a little viewfinder, so I hope this is all going on okay. Okay, quick bit of eyeshadow. I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but this isn't like, this is just a very quick everyday makeup, kind of no fuss, very quick. I'm using the Beauty Pie bronzer. I love a bronzer as an eyeshadow because I don't actually love wearing like an eyeshadow as such. Sometimes I find it like a bit too much fine just popping a bit of bronze on because I've got like light eyes I feel like it just makes my eyes pop a little bit more I'm still absolutely loving this L'Oreal mascara the pro XXL lift it's a double ender so I'm gonna pop the first layer on Just gives your lashes like so much volume and definition and makes them look yeah really like long and voluminous okay next up let's do some brows my brows really need laminating like they've completely lost all of their lamination but the last time i had it done my um i had went to like the same lady and she used the same product but i think i had a bit of like an allergic reaction or some kind of reaction so I've been holding off actually going back, um, trying some different products, and I've actually been loving this. I have spoken about this before. It's the Schwarzkopf Got to Be Brow Gel, but what I find is 
I apply it with this brush and then I take a little spoolie. Don't look too close at this, this is disgusting. It's got so much product in it. And then just really like push up the brow and then to get it to like really stick up, I find you have to use your finger to kind of just push down on it. And then I'm gonna use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in shade two. I'm gonna just fill my brows in and just like add a bit more because they are quite sparse. Just a few little finishing touches. I'm gonna to use the Charlotte Tilbury, the Magic Wand, a little bit more glow, a bit just on the end of my nose and also Cupid's bow. And then, no surprises here, I've been absolutely loving this. The Hourglass, the Volumizing Glossy Balm, and this one is the shade Mist. This just, oh, it feels so nice. I hate sticky or matte lip products. This feels really like a moisturizing, just very like sheer, gentle pink. I'm going to set everything with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Primer. get really annoyed at myself if I leave the house and I forget to put a setting spray on. My hair is booked in for a couple of weeks time which I'm so excited about. It feels like it's actually been ages since I had it done. It's going to need some dry shampoo. I'm going to use the Kerastase wand to blast the roots and then I'm just going to pop a bit of hairspray on. My favourite one is the Moroccan oil. Okay, hair and makeup is done. I'm dancing on my own, dancing on my own, losing, Good morning, everyone. I'm very excited today because I'm on my way to the train station and I am going to London. And I'm just excited to get out of the house and do something different today. We had a very quiet Christmas, which was so nice. It's very quite relaxing at home. But then I haven't really done that much since the new year either. So I've been at home a lot and I think I've just got like a bit of cabin fever. So I'm really excited to get out and about today. It's blue sky. It's been raining for a few days now. So I'm so excited. I'm so happy to see the blue sky. I'm just happy to be out of the house. morning and I am on my way to take Bertie to his daycare and um, because of Bertie like he's just not like the most easiest dog basically and I've openly spoken about that since we've um, had him we don't live that near family like like my mum and dad are about half an hour away they both work as well so um, some days um, I need someone to look after Bertie and um, so We've been going to this place for about two years. It was two years in the summer, I think. Um, but basically, it's a daycare run by dog trainers. Um, because when I went to look at other daycares, they kind of just let the dogs run wild all day. And I just knew that was not going to be good for Bertie and it would potentially just like make his behaviour worse. So I was really particular on where he went. Um, so the place we go to is amazing, but 
it uh, takes, well, if there's no traffic, you can do it in like 25 minutes. But when there's traffic, like about 40 minutes there and then 40 minutes home. Um, but where it is, it is closer into, I'm in Hertfordshire, so it's like on the way into London. So now what I figured out, I figured out a little routine which I like. I can drop Bertie at daycare and it's actually near somewhere called Radler, if you know Hertfordshire. It's like between St Albans and Radler. Um, so I drop him there and then I drive on to Radlett train station and sometimes go in from there. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like you make it work. I've got the day in London again today and then I will pick him up on my way home. So it kind of works out well today. Um, he's asleep on the seat next to me. Right, so quick recap of yesterday. I started off filming, like doing really well on the vlogging. Bear in mind I haven't vlogged for at least like three to four weeks. Um, and it's just remembering to get the camera out all the time. And also I was filming yesterday um, for, um, just like a little daily TikTok vlog kind of thing. So I kept having to remember to like film both content on my phone and camera. Um, yeah, so I kind of filmed all of yesterday, but what I didn't really get to film was um, I was meeting my friend Rachel for lunch and she had booked a place called Daphne's, which I've never been to before. I've actually seen it on Instagram. It's like a beautiful Italian restaurant like South Kensington Way, like off Brompton Road, I think it was. I don't usually go into that neck of the woods. I'm more like North London, like central. I went down there, met her, but Rachel, my friend, is in a mobility scooter. And when we got there, I got there before her and I said, oh, can you, um, like my friend is like 10 minutes away. Could you get the ramp out? Um, so like they put it on the stairs so that she can go down the stairs on her scooter and that was all okay however when she got there there was actually a step to get into the restaurant but their ramp wouldn't fit it and so basically we couldn't go in there and it was really disappointing like on their behalf because you would think in 2023 like restaurants would be more accessible it was like a half thought like they'd thought about it from inside the restaurant but like there was a step to get into the restaurant, if that makes sense. So, um, and they weren't overly like helpful about it either, which was like, yeah, I don't know, really eye-opening. And I guess so many restaurants are not like um, accessible for everyone, which is really like sad. I am at, actually I wanna double check that I'm on the right platform. I can't see the numbers. You know when you're at a new station and everything is like really unfamiliar, is that the one I want to get, the 9.36? Yeah, fine, okay. So, I'm at Redford and um, I've only been here once before and I couldn't find the station car park on my Google Maps. Um, so, I just, I could kind of remember where it was. Anyway, I found it, but it was full. It was full, there was not one space left. So then, I was panicking because I've got a meeting and you know when you're um, panicking because of the time, there's like a particular train I wanted to get and there's nowhere to park and then I'm trying to drive around somewhere that I don't really know the area of and trying to find a car park. Anyway, I managed to find another car park like the other end of the high street and then I walk down and actually I'm going to still get the train that I wanted to so that's fine. Um, but then my car key, um, you know like the electronic fob things, um, the battery has died on it but I only changed it like six weeks ago so I don't understand how that's run out so quickly um, so I couldn't fit, um, lock it with the button when people when you're vlogging and then people already stare it's really awkward I couldn't lock it with the button so I had to um, but obviously it has got a key on as well but underneath the handle there's like a little bit where you have to stick the key to pop off the handle so that there's actually like a key slot so I could lock it but when I go back to my car later and unlock it with the key the alarm always goes off I don't know if that's like a safety feature or what but anyway so now I need to I need to sort that out as well anyways everyone's staring so um, well, um yeah I'll see when I get there I had a 
meeting with my agency this morning and we had a good old chat about this year and like making plans and strategy and having a good catch up so that feels really like positive and exciting um, for the year ahead and now I'm just on my way to see Michaela Boulder who is an amazing facialist and I met her recently after following her for a really long time and she's kindly invited me in for one of her facials and I just know it's going to be the best facial of my life. <laughs> I'm really excited um, to have a chat with her. She's also a skin expert as well. Where I've had my eczema flare-ups, I feel like she's going to be able to um, give me some kind of knowledge and help on that. So yeah, I'm really excited. So. How gorgeous is this like vanity and mirror? lighting situation so nice quickly show the outfit of the day i've just got a cream high neck jumper and i've popped on my little um river island teddy gilet i've got my katie loxton bag trench coat and then underneath i've just got leggings and trains It is Saturday morning and I don't know if you can hear my voice but I've come down with this horrible cold. I feel like it's just a head cold. I just feel really like snotty and like my ears are um, blocked. I feel like it's all a like, tension headache. I just feel yeah like a head cold just horrible. Um, I didn't really do much yesterday because I kind of felt worse yesterday. 10 past 12 and I've had actually quite a productive morning for feeling pretty shit to be honest. Um, so yeah, I've just been cleaning, tidying the house, doing bits around the house. Um, and now I actually want to finish up editing this video so that it can go live tomorrow, Sunday, for you all. A year and a half ago, it was June 21. Yes, yeah, so a year and a half ago, we redid the kitchen here. We went for like one of the higher end Howden's ones and it wasn't cheap at all. We went for quartz worktops, which I love. I love the quartz worktops. Um, I'll actually find the whole kitchen video renovation and pop it in here for you. Um, however, like I have found it's actually really overwhelming and tricky to make big decisions like kitchens because you just get one sample of like one door and when I had it, the sample in here I thought oh yeah that looks good it was like fine and then when you put all the cupboards together it just felt too grey and it was too much of a darker grey I thought it was going to be more of like a darker beige but it's definitely a darker grey but I like I don't mind it like it is it's not my dream kitchen sadly like I really wanted it to be like my you know it was just such a shame and I'm annoyed at myself for choosing this color however I think the thing that actually makes it loads worse is the color on the walls if you have recently decorated and you have tried to find a nice off-white paint you'll know how hard it is to get the right off-white sometimes you want it warmer or cooler um and in this case i just got the paint completely wrong hard to show things like this on camera but i think you can see so obviously the architrave here is white and this is supposed to be off-white however it's very like i think because of the cool cabinets and the cool white paint the way that the light comes in here just makes it look almost blue like it just has this kind of greeny undertone to it which i just don't love and with the cabinets we went for like the tongue and grooved end um panels we've got the um edging on the tops it's a really gorgeous high-end kitchen i'm just like a bit disappointed on the color however so 
what we're going to do is paint the walls because I just feel like this will really give it, um, it will feel more like how I want it to feel and just warm the kitchen up. So I'm going with Lick White 03 and this description is an off-white with an undertone of yellow and before that would have completely have put me off the yellow because I just, you know, no one wants magnolia in their house and that's what made me think of. However, also every room in your house is different. There's different light in here, um, like whether you're north or south facing, um, whether you get a lot of light or not a lot of light. So actually I feel like I've had this lick sample. When you get them, they are, they're sticky um, and they don't pull the paint off. So I've been moving this around the kitchen um, since December um, and I feel set and happy on this one. So this is Lick White 03. So it's just a nice warm off-white. Sorry, that is such a long-winded story to basically just tell you that we are painting our kitchen, but I kind of wanted to explain why. So that is being done not next week, the following week. Uh, I follow this guy on Instagram, Nathan Anthony. His Instagram handle is Board of Lunch. You've probably already seen him. And he does loads of air fryer and slow cooker recipes. Um, and I just, oh, I just struggle to, with dinner ideas so much. And especially in January, I've just been like, I don't even, like, I just don't know what to cook. Um, so this is the Healthy Slow Cooker book. This is his new book that I ordered from Amazon. And me and Tom have been going through it. And there's loads of really nice recipes in here. Also, I love the slow cooker because you can just bung it in in the morning, carry on with your day, and then it's done in the evening. Like, it's not too much work, is it? Um, and also, normally, I double up the quantity so it makes two rounds of dinners for us for that week um so yeah if you're looking for some jan food inspo i'll leave that linked below okay so now i am going to um as i said i didn't do much yesterday so i'm going to catch up with a bit of work now edit this vlog and just have a saturday at home but i hope you are all really well having a good week and i will speak to you soon bye